Ferruccio Lamborghini had been born into a family of grape farmers. He became very wealthy from his tractor business. He humored himself with expensive toys, including several luxury cars. One of those cars was a Ferrari. Being a mechanic, he endeavored to think that he could tweak them, thereby making them better. He noticed that Ferrari was too much noisy and rough on the road. Another issue Lamborghini had with his Ferrari was that the inferior clutch didn't last long enough, needing to be replaced too often. During the 1960s, Enzo Ferrari's cars were top of the line in luxury sports cars. Since Lamborghini was so good a mechanic, he decided to tell Ferrari about the imperfections he found in his cars. Considering Ferrari was the top dog of the car business, he didn't appreciate the young tractor mechanic telling him about the imperfections. Enzo Ferrari told him. You are a tractor driver, you are a farmer. You shouldn't complain driving my cars because they're the best cars in the world. He also said that he didn't need a tractor maker's advice and turned him away. Lamborghini told him. Oh, yes, I am a farmer. I'll show you how to make a sports car and I will do a sports car by myself. To show you how a sports car has to be. When Ferrari told Lamborghini, he didn't want advice from the tractor mechanic, a rivalry had begun. He saw Ferrari's insult as his driving force for starting work on his own type of luxury car. He began designing different models of his own brand. In only four months, he revealed the Lamborghini 350 GT at the Turin Motor Show in October of 1963. It was well received by critics and Lamborghini continued to amend and improve, making new models regularly. In 1966, Lamborghini launched the Miura, which is called the world's first supercar. Which ensured that the line of sports cars bearing his name would become the well-known brand that it is today. By the end of 1960s, Lamborghini had become almost as powerful and wealthy as Ferrari. In the 1970s, Lamborghini triumphed again with the iconic Contach, a futuristic-looking car with the doors opening up rather than out as in most cars. Many people believe that he was crazy for wanting to build a sports car to compete with Ferrari. Today the company remains one of the preeminent builders of exotic Italian sports cars. It all goes to show that no matter how successful, it's never a good idea to underestimate your critics.